Good morning, guys. Okay, so for those of us wondering what uh, Web3 is all about, uh, well, in due time we will understand. But uh, for today, it, today is just for people that don't know Jack about anything, you know. So I think the most important thing you need to do first and foremost is for you to open a, a Web3 wallet. And uh, a Web3 wallet is uh, the most popular one is called MetaMask. Now, if you see where this my icon is, that's MetaMask. If I click MetaMask, you see that it will come out. It will show you my wallet. You get yes, you see. So that's the wallet. You can see this now. This is the wallet. These are the tokens under. Um, how would I put it? This is the wallet. So what it shows you is that I have about eight point nine core. Okay, maybe that's the value. Okay, now if you check this wallet now, it's showing that the uh, uh, core token I have about eight of them, cake token I have about maybe 0 0.07. Then the, this other cake I have about 60,000 cake. You understand? They have not put their uh, what in dollars yet. Now, if you come to the left hand side of this wallet, you see that there are different chains Ethereum Minute, Linear, Binance chain testnet phantom, phantom prayer now once you see where they write testnet testnet it means that what you have let's go there whatever you have in that chain you understand is not real money okay you can see that i have testnet bnb i have 0 0.5 bnb now real bnb is about, about 220 dollars so if you have 0 0.5 bnb which means if it was a real amount of money this would be worth about 100 dollars but it's not real but it's it's bnb that i only used to make test to do testings of uh, uh, uh maybe if there's a project i need to use bnb to test so i'll use this faucet bnb to test now if you go to this left hand side again it, like i said these are different chains you understand now this arbitrum uh metis base gorilla this this gorilla is also a faucet uh chain you can see I have Ethereum what Ethereum what $135 but it's not real okay let me show you the ones that are real I don't have money in this wallet like that but since I'm using it for teaching purposes now let me go to let's say let me go to real Ethereum this is real Ethereum okay you see this is real Ethereum now this is real money it's about three dollars there for Ethereum you understand Manso you understand yeah. Ethereum you understand this Ethereum as well uh beats all these ones are so so now the most important thing is that uh, you have to you have to uh you have to open a metamask wallet once you get this metamask wallet you yes, understand you'll be able to do transactions and test different projects that come so first and foremost what do you do you go to uh go to uh, uh google type meta mask if you type metamask it will come out okay so you you see this first one so you choose this okay when you choose it will come out you can see that's metamask thank you so you now download then when you download it will ask you whether you should pin the metamask wallet as an extension on your either your chrome your edge like this one i'm using edge now what you look at my extension this is when you check your browser these are your extensions now look at my extension. look at the number of wallets i have i have a five five hour chain wallet agents x wallet lib cosmos wallet leather wallet metamask so now you you would permit your system to add your metamask on this extension and then when it puts you on this extension too you understand you will probably also uh pin it on your menu bar here so that if you're doing transaction you just click here but if you don't pin it on your menu bar here you always see it on the extension like this see if i come here and i click metamask here yes it will still come up you get so like i said first and foremost before we do any major thing you have to get a metamask wallet when you get a metamask wallet it would uh, give you the ability to store either real tokens or Oh, sorry either real tokens or faucet tokens faucet tokens like i said are like fake tokens that you, you use it only for testing yes and now some projects are on uh, 
on a um, some projects are on a uh, mainnet mainnet means that they are using real money to do the testing while some projects are on uh, on uh, what do you call it on testnet testnet means that you're going to use fake tokens to test okay now uh, what 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 we'll do for a start we have to start with projects that uh, projects that use a uh, testnet now there's a project called zeta chain Okay, Zeta chain is on testnet, but they have exhausted, they have stopped the, the testnet. So we'll leave that one. But uh, first and foremost, uh, I'll show you what to do. Okay, what am I saying? No, what I'm saying is wrong. Uh, Zeta chain is still on testnet, so we are going to do it. So you go here, your son. I'll send you a link on of Zeta, Zeta chain. It's still on test. Now, some projects, you understand? Now, this is, this is Zeta. Okay. So what you do first and foremost is for you to be able to you have to for example now see my wallet is um attached here to the Zeta chain website so let me see how I can remove it so I disconnect so when you open it this is how you see it now but before you come here go to go to chain list chain list i'll drop the link here chain list is a is a website this particular website is a website that helps you add chains to your metamask you know like i showed you that there are different chains there are different chains uh, in web3 in web3 finance like this now is that the different chains at now ethereum you get linear binance and all, 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 all. now when you come here since we are working on zeta chain come here and time zeta zeta then check this box in to include testnet okay so it will give you uh let me see zeta what's in zeta chain is uh, this thing is called uh, uh what is it it's called Athens. right sorry um well, that chain list, yes, chain list by Athens. Good. So this is the name of their chain. They are recent testing. So you click here, add to MetaMask. When you click add to MetaMask, you see I'm connected already, and I'm already connected. But when you click add to MetaMask, it will add the chain to your MetaMask. So when you go to your MetaMask and open, you see that uh, you have the chain connected to your metamask you get now for let's look for it city zeta if i click it you can see i have z attend zeta so this is the token but it's a faucet token this is the first thing you do you understand when you open your metamask and don't also forget when you enter, open your meta by default metamask is an is an is is originally an ethereum wallet so you have the ethereum wallet there already they saw the ethereum chain there already so you are the one that will add this Athens zeta chain to it it will now put it inside the metamask yes and now if the in future you want to add any other chain you say you will come so if you want to add real chains do not uh, uh, test it you now uncheck this box then type say b and b you want to add say this. you now click add the metamask it will pop up and add yes and but i have it already so i don't need to add it again okay so that, i think that's that that's that so i think if you have any question uh, you can ask on the comment section i'll be i'll be happy to give my responses yes so i think gradually would uh, be, be able to test uh, projects together this uh, decentralized uh, projects together and we'll earn money from doing that okay i think that's that's all for today there are many things that are uh, in, on ground but something that we'll check later as time goes on so thank you and stay blessed